Greetings, Hedidies and Guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Kick Your Run Kingdom. I was thinking if I wanted to do this video or not, but I thought it was kind of necessary because this is new content I want to focus on. And basically, if you saw the announcements from the new update, basically, we did get Legendary Costume, which I already focused the whole thing on that and became broke. However, another thing is that there were two new Magic Hadneys added for both Twizzly Gummy Cookie and Blueberry Pie Cookie. Now... Not, yeah, nice job for a loud truck just to go ahead and drive by. But uh, with that being said, I didn't originally want to do this video because I was like, oh, I really don't do these videos for Magic Candies. But considering that there's more than just one that got released, I may as well cover it. And also considering that I tend to use Twisty Gummy Cookie a lot, I thought it'd be necessary. But another reason why is because this is actually useful for an event, which uh, I'm barely, uh, I, I have no time for. And, well, I mean, technically I have time for them, but I'm kind of wasting my opportunity with it, even though there's six days left and it tells you that you get this. Basically, there's this stuff, where it's Magic Candy Party. Clear missions, speed up the Magic uh, Laboratory, and get some new Magic Candies. Build another Magic Laboratory to speed up the production, which I didn't even know that was a thing, but I think that's part of a package. Yeah, that's $25. Okay, sure. Why not? Anyway, uh, basically this entire event is you have to make magic candies and what it does is that it gives you these little things where it's magic candy ingredients faster production where just for a certain amount of time uh, the magic candy ingredients that you craft will be f uh, they'll be crafted faster. And it's going to help a lot if you want to try and grind out a bunch of magic candy items for a bit. So what I want to do is I want to try and create both Twisted Gummy Cookie's magic candy and use it in battle. And the same thing for Blueberry Pie Cookie. I think I'll need to do a bit of upgrading for Blueberry Pie, but it's not impossible. But anyway, I just want to check where is Blueberry Pie on the uh, the power scaling because I think they're relatively low. 22. Do not I need level 50. Really Great. Actually, wait. What if... I've been working on a reading list. Everything has been solved now. Okay, so. Now, also, if anyone is wondering, I do have the materials. I don't know how to check. I think it's in storage somehow. Where's the magic candy? Don't, don't uh, pay attention to my lethal amount of loot in here. Just don't pay attention to it. It's fine. Actually, wait. Goat, mist. Is it here? Where's the magic candy? Is it here? What? Where are the pl rarities? Usables? No. Goods? Supplies? Might be supplies, yeah. Um, if it's right here, I have 24 of these so I can create the magic candy I think once, and then 48 of the Twizzy Gummy ones because I really want that to be upgraded. So we're going to go ahead and test those out and see how they work in battle. But with that being said, I'm also going to be reading comments from the video confronting a god of lightning in the Heaven Splitting Lightning story, where if you want to leave your questions and comments down in the comment section below for me to read on these videos, then feel free to do so. Oh, I'm getting the hiccups over here. Uh, it could be a random question, a random comment, a random fact, something about me, something about the game, something entirely different. It doesn't even matter, because as long as we're having a fun time at the end of the day, and we appreciate being around each other from community to creator and creator to community, then that's what matters the most. So, I think what I'm just going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and, uh, hmm. How exactly would I do this? I, I, I guess, first of all, i got to buff up Blueberry Pie just a bit, just to kind of, like, do a test. So, like, let's say, uh, wh wh where, where's Blue? I, I already lost her again. I'm this bad at the game, I swear. Okay, you're right there. All tomes and books have their own. Oh, oh my gosh, I can buff you up if I really want to. Have I ever done a video explaining what, how Blueberry Pie Cookie works? I'm pretty sure I did, but maybe not by much. I don't know, but what we're going to do is... The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use uh, both Blueberry Pie Cookie and Twizzly Gummy Cookie in just levels by themselves. I don't know how like strong the levels should be, but I'm just going to test them out by their uh, lonesome. And yeah, just make it work. So like, let's say, for example, this one, uh, well, like 620... Uh, wait, that 127 power? I don't think Blueberry Pie would be strong enough for that. So instead, I'm gonna go to, like, World 4. Because I want to test out, I guess, Blueberry Pie Cookie and then Twizzly Gummy. Because I know Twizzly Gummy Cookie is going to wreck with the level that I have her at. Uh, but 36,000. Let's go ahead and do just a test there. So, like, we're gonna edit this. Uh, scroll all the way down. Look, look tw Twizzly Gummy is literally, t like, number 4. Are you kidding me? That's, that's insane. Insanity. Uh, but I gotta scroll all the way over there. That was really quick. Uh, if I could scroll up, I think, a tiny bit here. You should be. If I just see a marking of blue, it shouldn't be that bad. I did just upgrade your skill. You shall be forbidden from okay. the archive. Sounds perfect. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go through this level of Blueberry Pie. Just test her out. And while I go through this, I'm just going to go ahead and read a few comments. Like, there's one from Shafir Raganasigov saying, Hey, Hyper Himes, what's your favorite sandwich? Mine's an egg and cheese sandwich with sauce. Okay, use, use your basic skill. I cannot hold back. Just wig whoosh. Uh, but... Yeah, if you're wondering what my favorite sandwich is, it's actually uh, turkey, cheese, and honestly, I usually use American, but you can use whatever cheese. Turkey, cheese, mayonnaise, mustard, and a couple of chips. Hold back. Yeah, so this skill is simple. It's just like blast forward. It has, it causes like a damage down effect, and uh, she just does the work. May not seem like much, especially with the recharge, but you just add some cooldown toppings, and it's not too bad. All right, I so throw those on. Hold back. I know you can't hold back. I know. I think that's the only thing that you say, which, and again, let's be honest, it's a skill. That's the only thing that any other cookie says. Uh, but whatever. You want to just do it again? 
Sure, why not? Because you keep getting stuck. Hold back. Yeah, I think we get the gist of how this works. It's just like big beam of snake coming from her book and just like destroys all the enemies in the path. Which it does have a skill uh, applied to this, which makes sense. I and there we go, back. level complete. So good. Now we're gonna do the go. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with Twizzly Gummy. A mere simple task. Sounds about right. Uh, I think I'm gonna do a quick recap of what a skill if anyone is curious, just to be sure. But before that, there's a comment from Sonic Gamer 360. No, what, what am I saying? What the plot? No, A Gamer 360. Am I that bad? Uh, one comment saying, seriously, we know we now have water, frozen water, murky water, water magnet, and sky water. Yeah, that's basically happened with the legendaries. That's what we're expecting. And Joe the comment says, Kyle Crush of the Day. Well, a hero character for the Dark Element, basically a very tough character. I think I can get the uh, cookie info over here. I think. Yeah. Uh, hey, anyway, hey, hero character. Wander about the archives. I got. I got you. Uh, a hero character from the Dark Element, basically very tough and lonely dude who only wants to bring peace. That everyone respects each other's choice. And a villainous character from the Light Element, a very egocentric, greedy, menacing guy who loves being in charge, especially since the Light is also associated with good morals, with good stuff. Huh. I can see those as being really good characters, I gotta be honest. Now, if you're curious about her skill, it says, It's Cursed Tome. An evil spirit uh, appears in the tome, dealing damage to the enemies, inflicting them with the greed of the tome debuff. It will also heal Blu-ray Pie Cookies HP and increase their damage resist. The tome will gain a stack of greed whenever the spirit deals damage to the cookies, or target inflicted with the greed of tome uh, debuff becomes incapacitated. Once the tome has enough stacks of greed, it will unleash its sealed power, increasing Blueberry Pie Cookies attack, dealing damage to the enemies. While Blueberry Pie Cookie is using her skill, she will briefly be, uh, become in, uh, resistant to interrupting effects, damage relative to max HP is capped at 300,000. And it does do, uh, I think that's electric damage too, so that's nice. Uh, obviously fitting with the new electricity type introduced in the update. And now, let's go ahead and make the magic candy, because what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to focus on, you know, blueberry pie skill, and then magic candy then first, then we'll move on to the Twizzly Gummy part. I think that's just, it would be a little bit more neat and organized. Uh, but according to the skill for the magic candy, it says Secrets of the Tome. Blueberry pie cookie becomes more powerful with the hidden secrets of the tome. She deals extra damage damage with seal power and inflicts hit enemies with zap. She also applies the current charge buff to electri uh, electricity uh, type cookie. She also applies the current charge buff to electricity type cookies upon using her skill. So if you have any other electricity type cookies on your team, then it's also going to be applied to uh, them as well, which actually seems pretty useful. But anyway, let's crank this up. Let's make this beautiful magic candy for blueberry pie cookie. Take a nice swig. Perfect. And now we have the magic candy made. We can't update just by one, which just increases the damage just by a tiny bit. So we'll take it. Claim back some of the ingredients. Did we just get a super success? No, I don't think so. But yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and ram back into this level. Because that actually boosts her power by a good amount, I'm pretty sure. Like, sheesh. And uh, let's see if there's any different. And I'll go through the level as well uh, while reading comments. Like, there's one from Draco, uh, which is kind of long, but... Uh, Actually, it's kind of long, so let me just not read that yet. I will save it for later because it's rather long. But uh, let's see how this looks. I cannot hold back. Okay, but, okay, seems like normal at the start. I wonder if there's going to be any change. Then again, that does seem new. Isn't current chart? Yeah, current charge that does seem new, and it kind of seems like she's a bit faster. I think that's how it's like. I cannot and then do it again. Hold back. Okay, let's keep on going. Keep on going. Right now, it does seem current, but I feel like I need to use it in like more extreme circumstances. I'm not sure. Uh, but you never know. Stop. Just get. Stop. Use the skill. There we go. Hold back. Okay. I don't know why. I'm just like, I'm just trying to be sure like, like I try and show off like whatever the differences between the magic candy is, but it's kind of hard to, if I'm going to be honest. It could be due to cooldown. Maybe I need some more cooldown. Oh, wait, current charge. Back. It just said current charge just above her. So like apparently it does that anytime you activate the skill. Okay. Well, uh, I so far don't see much of a difference, but I feel like the power did it get increased. I, cannot I don't know. It back. might, it might be something that like it's beyond me. Am I being an idiot about it? I have no idea, but there's kind of a show off right there. Mere simple task. All right, so there's that, and now we have to go ahead and move on to Twist the Gummy Cookies Magic Candy, which is going to be a little bit more exciting if I do say so myself. But let me read a few comments, then I'll read a comment question of the day. The long comment that I see from Draco says, Honestly, I did really love the story. Not only is Stormbringer really cool, but also gives more lore to the Dark Cacao Kingdom, Crunchy Chip, Wildberry, and Black Raisin, making this a fun trio. Also, for the comment question, I would love to see a sea cookie who masters shadow and shape shifting. Or shape shifting. I do love an OC like this. It's also a part of my new Cookie Dose City series. It's called du uh, Dewberry Shadow Cookie, a shape shifter who could only travel through time or shadow unless if summoned in a specific way. There were a former dancer who one night got cursed after entering a shady casino. He would only really get into be able to shift into anyone he sees, but has a harder time transforming into more powerful cookies. The more powerful the cookie get uh, getting transformed into, the more deformed his original appearance looks. Anyways, great videos always. I feel like you're just combining... Like, what is it? Like, 
the story of like how Cuphead and Mugman got like their souls stolen with the concept of alternates. I'm not even sure. That's how it sounds. Which, to be fair, that is a good like that's a good concept for a story. But I I'm just saying that's the things that I do point out. But then it, that does sound really fun. And also, thank you for very much for the compliments on the video. But anyway, for a common question of the day, I feel like I did ask this before. But considering it's new age, maybe there's uh, some things I've gotten answered, but some new people who I haven't got it yet. But if you want to give a cookie within this game a magic candy, who would it be? You don't even have to go too in depth into it. But if you want to give a cookie in, the, in this game magic candy, who would it be? Because I think I asked this before and i think a majority of the people was pumpkin pie cookie i'm not even joking which is weird because when i first asked that a while ago everyone was like no pumpkin pie is too overpowered but nowadays i asked it and everyone's like e and pumpkin pie deserves a magic candy i mean maybe we'll just have to wait until like the halloween update comes along but pumpkin pie just ha has a magic candy and uh if she does get one then i guess it would you know better suit her you know candy for halloween it, doesn't that make sense i understand that she's a pie but like you know you ever had a pumpkin uh, you ever had a candy made out of pumpkin before me personally i don't think i have but um, that doesn't mean any of you haven't either anyway let's go ahead and do the same thing except we're going to swap out blueberry pie cookie and we're going to swap in uh twisty gummy who's all the way at the front what do you mean rules I just go pew, 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 right? Yeah, sounds about right. So that's what we're just going to shove you into this level. Level may be a little bit more on the lower side, so we're probably going to put you in a higher level because you can just decimate. Yeah, her skill just basically does this. Check this out. Game over. Just giant laser beam. <laughs> what else could you ask for? And she's going to be doing that a lot. So while I go through this, because it kind of seems uh, simple as to what she does. Guava Marshmallow, little comment saying, common question of the day, a light type sunlight cookie, sister to moonlight cookie probably. You know, that actually could, does make sense. Like, why isn't there a sunlight cookie if there's a moonlight cookie? Game Dev sisters should probably get on that. <laughs> and also, Mono Wolf Deer left a few comments. One saying, common question, am already starting to work on an angelfish cookie. Uh, so water type. Okay, I get that. And also, your other comment says, I started watching The Loud House. I made a headcanon that Lincoln Loud is a lesbian, a, tra a trans lesbian? Huh. Never heard of that theory before, but then again, it's a headcanon. So honestly, you can believe what you want to believe, but I don't know. Actually, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I don't know. But whatever the case is, that's that. We've had tougher fights in other worlds. Anyway, with that being said, oh yeah, by the way, we got the pastry cookie soul soul on that. That's pretty good. And uh, I'm actually going to move on to another level because, uh, oh, the game just, why does, the game's crashed like that again. It did the little side swipe and it crashed. What is up with that? Oh yeah, look at that blueberry pie magic candy package thing, whatever. I still have no idea how that happened. I feel like now for some reason, it's never crashed on me before. Well, I mean it has, but like on Google Play games, I expected a lot more. Don't want to sound insulting, but I'm just being honest. Uh, so let's actually go up into a uh, higher, let's go up in the, maybe ancient altar? I mean, they still might be easy, but you know, I still gotta do these regardless. Uh, but anyway, if you wanna know where skill is, just for reference, uh, I should probably read some more comments, Which but uh. world should I pour it over to next? Well, probably the one where, that you're just gonna decimate in. Uh, quickly, Luna comment, or I'm sorry, Luna Cupcake left a comment saying, I wonder what will happen if Stormbringer interacted with the other ancients. I don't know. I mean, maybe she'll just like be chill with them, most likely sleep. Who knows? Uh, but according to Twizzly Gummy skill, it says, Twizzly Beam, Twizzly Gummy Kiki overloads her electro jelly gun and fires a powerful electrifying laser beam. While Twizzly Gummy Kiki is using her skill, her crit damage is increased and enemies hit with her laser beam will be zapped. This is a non-stackable debuff that deals periodic damage and temporarily disrupts HP shield. While Twizzly Gummy Kiki is re uh, charging her laser, she will be briefly become in resistant to interrupting effects. And for some reason, she's not... Le Which world well, should I pour it over to really next? Really? She's only like level... Well, I guess I did put her in the uh, the Hall of Heroes, but still. Let's see just how strong I can get. Well, don't worry, you're gonna get. <laughs> Calm it. I'm gonna make you stronger. It's fine because we're gonna give you the skill Blast from the Future. Applies the current charge buff to electricity type cookies upon using her skill. Her electro jelly gun from the future deals extra damage, stacks zap debuffs, and increases crit damage. And we do get a preview video. Well, let's see. And Hollyberry's just at the front. Okay. Just does, uh, I think, a bigger beam than before. And, uh, I wonder if it's key to have Holly Bear at the front. Hmm. It kind of- the, the video just kind of froze. Is there buffering on a kingdom video? Are you kidding me? I just wanted to see what this was like. Or maybe I gotta go ahead and, like, repeat it again or something? Go back over here? I see it again? Okay. This seems like a more- even more powerful laser, I'm pretty sure. I think the gun got buffed, if you look at it closely. Uh, but okay. So, uh... 
Like, yeah, that gun, yeah, that gun looks way more buffed. So let's go ahead and create this real quick. Get this magic candy sorted. Bam. Now it looks even better than before. And I got a few more buffs I can apply to this. So this is just going to be easy keepings for Twizzly Gummy. And you know for a fact I'm going to have this thing upgraded. Considering how much of a high level Twizzly Gummy Kiki already is for me. This is just going to be buffs and buffs for days. And this just applies extra damage. She's going to be even stronger. She's going to be cracked out on strength. So here you go. Some more. I don't think I have enough for you to get to uh, uh, like the uh, next peak. Aw, oh, dang. Of course I would fail. Like, I don't think I have enough for you to get to uh, the first big buff. But uh, unfortunately, yeah. But hopefully I can still build up to it. And make these magic candies will also help me in the long run. Because there's also extra buffs, like uh, at 10, and at 20, and at 30, which just makes it even more powerful than ever. Which, I'm just going to go ahead and test this up out on this level, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and obliterate everything. How about that? Let's go ahead and do that, and then I'll probably just read the rest of the comments in the video, considering there's not many left. So let's just obliterate everything in our path. How about that? Please, game? And let's see that big gun in action. Okay, nice charge. Cool, here you go. Game over! I... I... It, huh. Am I the only one who thinks, like, the laser is somehow, like, shorter, like, lasting? I don't know if that's me, but I feel like it lasted shorter than before, but then again, that could just be because of the speed of the level I'm currently at. Uh, it's level 619. And everyone is literally panicked because they're just like, Oh, shoot! She's got a gun! We gotta get out of here! And then they just get blasted into smithereens, which, you know what? Fine. You, you're all about to get decimated anyway. Hey, you think you're so strong? Yeah, you're not gonna be strong after I do this. Game Oops! Over. And then they just get zapped. <laughs> This is an enjoyable time. This is the strength I was talking about. I didn't even check how strong, how much stronger she got. But you know what? I'll take whatever strength I can get. As it, if it means that her Oblivion Death Gun just gets even stronger than before. Uh, oops, Yay, there goes all you. Over. And level over. <laughs> and it's like her gun just got like some sort of instant. It turned, it straight up turned into like a Gatling gun. That's literally how it looked. Ugh, I've had tougher fights in other worlds. And I'm pretty sure, let me just go ahead and do a quick check on her stats. Because you can never be too sure. Uh, cookie detail. 553,000 power. Hold on. Hold on. How strong are you? You are second strongest. You are second strongest right behind Squid Ink, and that's at 574. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be pretty powerful. Okay, with that being said, I'm just gonna read the rest of the comments on this video, and then we're gonna end. So, user in gibberish, uh, they just left a comment saying, At 734, electric type. The kiki would apply a kind of debuff that collects damage to your cookies to do the enemy with shock. Then, either after a period of time, or maybe when they use a skill again, it triggers the shock and the damage the debuff accumulated would trigger, and boom, enemy gets hit with that damage. I think the kiki would be Sour Shocker Cookie. If you don't know what shockers are, they're the type of, uh, sweet, uh, the type of sweet... The cookie would be an elder of the cream republic, but or creme republic, whatever the club you want to call it. Uh, but not worry too much because his duties are just chill around the republic. Okay, that's a good thing. And there's also a comment from uh, Vi Via Yuinda just saying hi. Well, hello to you. And the last few comments come from Smart and Spiral. One saying, oh gosh, on the strawberry cake tower, I'm sorry to reach level 15 right now. I think I made it there, or level 10. I don't know, I gotta do another video on that soon. But another comment you left is, uh, one star Stormbringer Kiki got promoted, so I need two stars. And White Little Kiki got promoted to two stars. Well, I'm proud of you for that, and hopefully you can make it through other levels just in case. And the last comment I read from you, uh, is a comment question response saying, uh, I wish we had a light and dark this crystal shard golem, wielding a yin-yang staff to unleash the magic of black and white, using a black magic letting enemies to vanquish or blast with corruption, using a white magic can heal anyone or get a powerful strength. Use both can be used in an ultimate blast in one shot, and time, or restores destruction you know that sounds cool in concept all i'm saying is do you know how terrifying the concept of like a, 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 a swapping personality character would be because like imagine it's like oh miss, this person is going to be the hope of the world then you turn around one second turn around again and they're just like oh they're causing the apocalypse yeah what do we do about them now and then they're just gonna have a mood swing they're just like hey nothing bad is going on everything's so happy everything sucks that's how the character's gonna be it's not a bad idea but I would sleep with one eye open at the very least. But anyway, with that being said, if you enjoyed the video, then please be sure to leave a like on it. And also share the video with your friends if you enjoy my kicker on content. And if you enjoy my content in general, then why not subscribe? And also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I do in the future. Oh, look at that. Twizzy Gummy Magic Candy 2. And if you enjoy my content in general, subscribe and hit the bell icon as I mentioned. Also down below in the description, you'll see links to all my social media, including a Twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes, I can get the kicker on YouTube set for absolutely free. A link to my Discord server called the Hype Beast Hub. A link to my merchandise where you can buy stuff to represent the channel. And lastly, a link to my code for you for just one dollar a month you can see exclusive content that you wouldn't normally see in this normal youtube channel but above all else i will see you entities and guardians in the next video here with the hype knees